To learn more about some of the things we talked about in this module, I recommend the book .NET Performance Testing and Optimization. This is a great general purpose book covering how to improve the performance and test and tune your .NET apps. Also, to find Fiddler online, go to fiddler2.com. And to get the sample application, the MVC Music Store app, you can download the zip file that's available with this course, or you can go to codeplex.com and go to the fork that I have called MVC Music Store Repository Pattern, shown at the URL below. And you can grab this using Mercurial and actually see all of the different check-ins and, and check-in history that goes along with the application. So to summarize, there are a number of different extension points for web performance tests. We've seen that we can use data binding to allow for dynamic inputs and to make it so that we can support a large number of different types of data coming into the application. We can generate code, and this will let us have complete control over the entire test session, giving us the ability to extend it in any way we want. And we can also use third-party tools like Fiddler in order to make test recordings that we don't need to have Visual Studio for, and then import those into Visual Studio and allow us to manipulate and run those tests just like ones we had recorded from within Visual Studio itself. Thank you very much. This has been a Pluralsight on-demand module on Visual Studio 2010 web performance tests. My name is Steve Smith, and I hope to see you again soon.